Chapter 6, Creating Objects from Classes, Solution Movie 6.1. So in this exercise, we're going to create a new label object from the UI label class, and we'll add it to the view using code, just as we did with the text field object in the chapter. And when you're finished, your app should look like figure 6.11 if you do the extra credit. So let's go ahead and open the project. Got Xcode and Swift Demo is right here. And I'm going to double click this just to give myself some room so I can see both the instructions and the code file. So the first thing we need to do is create a new label object from the UI label class. So I come in here, say label equals UI label. Okay, step two, set the text property of the label to exercise 6.1. Label.text equals exercise 6.1. Next, we add the label to the view at the following coordinates and the specified size. So as we did earlier, that means we need to set the frame of this control. Label dot frame equals cg rect make. I'll press return, go to the first placeholder. We have 20, 120, 280, and 21. Step four says note that labels don't have a border style property. So although we set the border style property on the text field, there is no border style property in the label, so we can skip that step. So our next step says add the label to the view using code. So we can say self.view add subview label. And step six says for extra credit, center the text of the label horizontally so it's in the middle of the view rather than aligned to the left. And here's our hint. We can Google the phrase UI label center text horizontally Swift. And I find that many of the best answers are on Stack Overflow because participants can vote for the best answer and the uh, best answer has a green check mark next to it. So over here in Safari, I've already Googled this phrase and here's something from Stack Overflow. I'm looking at the date too and it's 2014 so that's good. So I select here and we can see that nine people said this was a great answer for them. So I'm going to give this a try. NSTextAlignment.Center. So we're setting the text alignment property. Label.TextAlignment equals NSTextAlignment.Center. All right, so let's run the project and see what we get. Say Command S to save. I'll close this and click the Run button. And here it is. There's our label, Exercise 6.1. And as you can see, the text is centered in the view rather than left aligned.